Hi, in this video, we will talk about what is JSON and how it looks like, how we can represent JSON, all these things we will discuss. So first, what is JSON? JSON means JavaScript, means a JavaScript object notation. The full form of JSON is JavaScript object notation. So then, And what is this? So it is a lightweight, it's a lightweight data interchange format. Okay, interchange format that is easy for human or can say humans, humans to read and write. That is to read and write and easy for machines to parse and generate okay so it is a very lightweight data interchange uh, interchange format with the help of json you can transfer the data from one place to another place and this is very easy for humans to read and write if json file you can easily understand what is there inside that and the machines means computers to parse and generate okay they can easily um, parse the data and they can generate the data so then it is commonly used for transmitting okay, data between server and a web application okay so it is commonly used for transferring data between server and a web application as well as for configuration files if you want to put some configuration, username, password, and your application URL, something like that, then you can use for that purpose also. Okay. So we, if you want to learn more on this, so what is the basic structure of this? Okay. How basic structure of this JSON? Okay. Basic structure. Okay. JSON data is represented as JSON data is represented as a collection of key value pairs. Okay. It is a collection of key value pairs. You can represent with the key value pairs. And then data is stored in key value pairs where the key. So basically a string. The key always it will be a string is it is followed by a colon it is followed by a colon and then the value what is that value key value pair right first key colon and then value this is how you will represent your json so with the help uh, with the help of example we will see so basic structure so what are the data types it will support Okay, what are the data types will it support? So data types. Okay, so it supports it supports strings. What do you mean by string? A sequence of characters enclosed in double quotes. Right, string means a series of characters enclosed in double quotes. It supports numbers. What do you mean number? Integer or floating point numbers. Okay. Numbers means it, it, it supports integer and floating point numbers. It supports objects also. What do you mean by objects? An unordered collection of E value pairs, you need to remember this enclosed, enclosed in curly braces. That is this. What is that? That is this curly braces. That is called object. We need to remember this. An ordered collection of key value pairs enclosed in curly braces. 
this enclosed in curly braces is important. Okay, that is called object. And then arrays. So it supports arrays and ordered list of values. What is what is array? An ordered list of values enclosed. Again, you need to remember this. Enclosed in square brackets. Square brackets. That is this. Okay. So this is called array. Whatever you put inside this called comes under array. Okay. And then boolean. So boolean means true or false. Okay. Sorry. True or false. And then it supports null value. What do you mean by null value? So it represents an empty value or absence of a value. Okay. Empty value or absence of a value. So JSON means JavaScript object notation. It is very lightweight data interchange format in between your server and web application. And uh, basic uh, structure of JSON is key value pairs. And then what kind of data types it supports? Strings, numbers, objects, arrays, boolean, none. Okay. So if you take an example, how it uh, looks like. Okay. So definitely it should be in between these curly, uh, curly braces. So it starts with this curly braces inside this name and then colon and then what is that? Some name. I'll say Tom. Okay. Then comma. So this is key. This is value. Key is always a string. Then colon. This value might be any of these things. It might be a string, a number, or object, arrays, boolean, or null, whatever it is. So here I took string name. Okay. And then age. Okay. This is integer, I'm taking 30. Okay. Then I'm asking, is this Tom is a student? False. So he's not a student. Okay. So what courses he knows or teaches, whatever it is, courses. So you want to mention multiple values. Okay. You want to mention multiple values. Then inside the array, just now we have seen that arrays. This we need to mention more than one value. So what is that? I can say Java rest assured comma sorry selenium something like that. Okay. So these courses he might know or he might teach whatever it is. So this is simple JSON. Okay, it starts with these curly braces in between. These are key value, key value, key value, key value. So key is a string. You see, we, we just mentioned here like data is student key value pairs where the key, a string is followed by a colon, so colon, and then the value. The value might be any kind of these things. It might be a string, a number, object, array, boolean, null. So here, Name is string, age is integer, e student is boolean, courses array. Okay, just an example. Right. So here, if you want to mention, um, here keys are what? In this keys are name comma, age comma, e is a student and courses. These are all keys. If you talk about values, what are the values? Tom. Okay. 30. False. And then these three things. Okay. These are, so I can mention as it is. Just to differentiate. Okay. These are all values. Okay. So what do you mean by objects? Okay. We're just discussing here objects and arrays, how they looks like, okay? That we will discuss here. So we need to 
remember when you talk about json what is json how it looks like and what are the values what are the data types it supports and what is objects and what is arrays okay so we'll talk about objects okay what do you mean by objects objects in json are enclosed in curly braces the same point okay same point i am mentioning here that is braces curly braces and each key value each key value pair in an object each key value pair in an object is separated by a comma okay if you take this as an object each key value pair this is key value pair right this is separated with comma with another key value pair but the last value will not have any comma if it is end of this uh, we can say json but if you have multiple key value pair then that is separated with a comma you see this is a here is a comma here is a comma here is a comma but there is no comma okay each key value pair is an in in an object is separated by a comma okay so this is object what is arrays right arrays arrays in json are ordered lists of values and are enclosed by square bracket that is this sorry this one okay so arrays in json are ordered list of values and are enclosed by square bracket elements okay elements in an array can be of can be of any json data type type including okay including other arrays or objects remember this point inside an array inside an array you see that what are the data types it allows objects arrays so inside the array again elements in an array can be of any json data type that is including other arrays or objects if you talk about here inside this array these are normal strings inside this you might have another array also otherwise another object also okay so that uh, we will see in the next uh, examples okay but you need to remember this points so elements in an array can be of any json data type including including other arrays and objects and you have nested structure also nested structure so what do you mean by nested structure okay what do you mean by nested structure so json can have nested structures so what do you mean by structure where objects are arrays can be these are can be values of other arrays or objects okay inside the array you, you might have other object or array inside the object you might have other objects or arrays okay so that you need to remember so if you take an example for this nested uh, structure example you can say nested structure example so if you talk about that so obviously it should be inside this curly braces i am taking one person okay and this person has another object you see we can put something like this so inside this i have a name colon name is again i'm saying tom comma again age i'm taking colon 30 comma he has address okay address again another object okay this is outer object inside that you have a person person again an object inside the person you have name age and his address his address has multiple values because of that this is another 
this is another object what is that city i can say what city you can say new york something like that whatever name you want you can take city you say country country okay. usa right so after this i am putting another comma not here so here comma apart from the person i have one more key value pair what is that hobbies what is this person hobbies this hobbies is an is an array he has multiple hobbies reading comma painting okay so this is a json inside the json you have person in person is normally name key value pair here key is person value is what another object okay inside this multiple values are there name is string age is integer again address address again an object inside this city is string country is string so this is how okay this is how you can create a nested structure in for the json so there might be a very complex json also in the real time inside the array you have another array inside the object you have another object and in, inside that another objects and arrays inside that another objects and arrays so there might be we don't know the depth of that single object it depends upon the how they constructed the how they are uh, giving the data in the form of json okay so in this the person is a nested object right a nested structure like address inside the person you have address okay so this is how you can do that and uh, encoding and decoding okay encoding and decoding json is used to represent data in a text format right data is inside text format when transmitting the data when transmitting the data so we already discussed right it is a lightweight and it can be easily transmitted over the network from client to server or server to client okay it needs to be encoded in json string on the receiving end on the receiving end this json string is then decode back into the back into a data structure in the appropriate in the appropriate what is that in the appropriate programming language depends upon the programming language which you are using okay json is not only for java or something like that any programming language can use this so json is used to represent data in text format when transmitting the data it needs to be encoded in json string on the receiving on the receiving end the json string is then ba uh, decoded back to okay so decoded back to data structure in the appropriate programming language uh, programming language which it can understand okay so this is all about encoding and decoding okay so json is widely used due to its simplicity comma readability and ease of use in various programming languages okay it is simple uh, because of its simplicity readability and ease of uh, use in various programming languages it has become a standard it has become a standard for data exchange so data exchange between between web servers and clients okay so this is all about a json right 
So what is JSON? JavaScript object notation. JavaScript object notation. And it is very lightweight. It is used for transmitting data between the server and client. And the basic structure, it will have a key value pair. And the data type, it supports strings, numbers, objects, arrays, boolean, and null. These are the different data types it is supported. It is a simple JSON. So this is a key value. This value is string. This value is integer. And this value is boolean. This value is array. Okay. Objects. Of each uh, objects means each key value pair in object is separated by a comma, right? And everything it has key value pairs. It is enclosed in the curly braces. Arrays means it, it enclosed with the square bracket, and it can have other objects and arrays. Nested structure means inside the array you can have a object or array, and inside the object you might have objects or array. Inside the array, inside the object also you might have the same things. This is one of the examples and encoding and decoding so json is used to represent data in a text format when transmitting over the network and it needs to be encoded in the json string and once you receive the data it should be decoded back into the uh, which structure that programming language which you are using to understand okay so this is all about json so you should understand the json then only we can use in our upcoming videos in uh, rest assured what is json how we can use all these things okay so this is all about Jason. So thanks for watching this video. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates. Thank you.